So now to get my power going, I should just have to place this right here. Hey guys, Seiji here. First off, I'm super sorry about the break and uploads. I've been super busy with work. That being said, I'm not going to give any spoilers this episode. You guys just got to stay tuned. It's going to be a bit longer, so I hope you guys are able to watch the entire thing through. Also, if you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I want to be at 1,800 subscribers by the end of March. And don't worry, the upload schedule is about to go back to normal. So hopefully within the next week or two, we should be able to upload at least twice a week. This intro is going to be short and sweet. Now that the intro is out the way, let's hop straight into this episode hey guys how's it going sorry about the recent break and uploads I've been super busy with real life things not the game that being said i was actually able to play just a bit and ran a couple of volts I actually completed a scavenger and a boss vault along with a few different bounties you can see this one i had to submit 191 diamonds this one was 29 volt essence and then right over here was a find 128 volt meat that one was ongoing i think i only needed like five and i found that in one of those volts that being said though let's get rid of all these signs and let's start this episode off with a bang i don't think i've ever opened up five crates in a row like this so this is going to be pretty insane we'll start off with these bounty ones oh yeah check that out i kind of had an idea on what we were going to get but i completely forgot because it's been a while since i've played okay nice so we got a chip jewel a couple pieces of gear and a mystery box along with a lot of bronze we're gonna need that because i did die in that live stream i did like a week ago and we got to get these items back don't worry that's what i was doing with those volts that i ran off camera we got a good bit of bronze and i'll show you that here in a minute now it's time to open up these crates we got the scavenger oh more gear and a relic what relic did we get actually uh i think we have that one and a chip jewel which is shoveling i'm gonna convert all this bronze just so i can free up some inventory space now it's time for the boss crate we got more gear nice oh wow we actually can't even hold it all oh an ornate affinity which isn't bad a couple more relics let's roll those up Ooh, that's the richity set and i think the pickaxe let me clear out my inventory because wow we got a lot of junk from that stuff and let's pick up the rest of this stuff oh nice a fundamental focus we can use that later on down the line and then here's some of the goodies that we got from the volts that we ran i just didn't put it in the system but four mystery eggs and six mystery boxes along with a couple mod boxes which we're about to go ahead and open but first let's roll up all of this gear and hope that we get no mega no omega what is a mailbox helmet what uh that doesn't really look like a mailbox to me these are pretty decent boots and these are pretty decent pants other than that nothing's too much of an upgrade compared to what we currently have that being said let's roll up these mystery boxes because we need some echo and i know you can get it <laughs> but sadly we didn't but like i was saying we needed some gold between the last live stream and now to get these items back thankfully with those votes we got pretty lucky with the coins that we got we got 39 originally we needed 40 but since i completed two volts it came down to only 36 so let's grab these bad boys and watch this spit out all of our items yeah that's probably one of my favorite additions of this entire thing oh i completely forgot that we actually had a couple pieces of gear we can roll so let's go ahead and roll this up i doubt we're gonna get an omega but that would be pretty nice and okay we got some rares which are not the best and that's actually not that bad of an axe wow 15.5 plus 10.5 that's pretty insane all in all not too much of any kind of upgrade that we currently have let's actually check the pouches oh wow we got two mystery boxes and did we get anything special for volt diamonds that's not too bad we'll have the mystery boxes over here and let's actually oh wait we already rolled those ones up so let's go ahead and roll these and some laramar so i did say we were going to use these mod boxes later on down the line and look at all this knowledge essence we have that being said there is one mod that we've been working towards for a while now and i think we have basically everything we need to go ahead and start crafting up those knowledge stars almost everything we're gonna have to break down some of these ores that we have that being said we we have 16 biniotide ore right here. This should be more than enough to get us the rest of that biniotide that we need. Yeah, we got 37 from 16. We just need two more of these bad boys. We can craft all of these up into the extraordinary ones. From there, we're going to go ahead and grab up all these volt diamonds that we got. Plus, we have a ton in the system, and we're going to craft up five knowledge cores. After that, you know the drill. We're going to turn all of those into some actual knowledge stars. We can now eat up all of these bad boys and unlock the one and only power mod. Check that out. And we get a transmog from that. So let's actually see what that transmog looks like. Oh, this looks pretty sick, to be honest. All right, let's check it out. It looks like a hazmat suit. That is amazing. Yeah, I really like this set. I think this is going to be our new go-to. Before we hop into this power mod, there's one thing that I want to do with you guys. Recipe? That's not too bad. Wait, never mind. I'm short on nether wart by a good bit. Oh, I forgot that we have this twerker ability, so we should be able to get that nether wart fairly easy. Now I just gotta let my mana reach in. In the meantime, I can get rid of all these guys hanging around the base. I know I have that mega torch, but they still somehow find their way all the way to these villagers. We got all the nether wart, now let's go ahead and add the rest of these items and crack this crystal up. Alright, I've been waiting to do this for a while. It's been a good 4 or 5 days since I've ran a vault, so let's go ahead and do this one on camera. You know, I just noticed you cannot see my face, so that's kind of, um, 
Not so much in style. Okay, much better. Let's go ahead and do this one on camera. Look at these shoulder pads. Those are insanely huge. All right, enough chit chatting. Let's go ahead and hop in this vault. Okay, it is a desert theme. So I think what I should go ahead and do is take this immunity right here because it has the hunger one and equip that over the sword because that's just going to come in handy with all the husks that spawn here. And whoop de do our first monolith. We may actually be able to complete this vault. Not really wanting to. I mainly just want to go ahead and try to get as many chests as we can since it's been so long since we ran a vault. He just completely blew up every ornate chest that was here. But we did get some living boys along with a couple of coin piles. Well, one coin pile. I really missed how fast I could mine coin piles with this pickaxe. Oh, wow. We got ornate, living, and gilded in the same room. That's insane. Let's see what we get. Another mod box. That's going to come in handy because we're about to start unlocking or trying to get into that power mod. Oh, a couple more coin piles. This is insane. We're going to definitely need these after all the coins that we just spent on getting our items back. Check it out. We got a chest plate. Nice. Oh, we just found a gilded dungeon. So let's get rid of the spawner and hopefully none of these guys get rid of us. Oh, wow. There's another spawner we got to get rid of. That's kind of a bummer. Spawner's gone. Now let's get rid of these mobs. And so many gilded boys. What I'm really wanting to get is a couple more of those jewels because I really want another coin affinity for our Omega pickaxe. Oh, we got a jewel, but it's trapped disarm. That's a bummer. Yeah, so we only got one jewel and it didn't happen to be one that we needed. So that's kind of a bummer. Oh, another chest plate from these ornate boys. Nice. Wait a minute. Is this another dungeon? What is this room? Oh, wow. I think we just found an ornate dungeon. Let's hope we get some better gear. Oh, you know what? Maybe that wasn't a dungeon. We actually need some ornate chests or I need to craft more armor because people have been telling me that my gear is supposedly pretty low compared to my level. Oh, another monolith. Why are there mobs in here? I haven't even been here yet. Huh. It's not letting me right click this monolith, so I guess I'm lagging. Oh, you know what? This was the room that I was in, actually. I guess I got turned around. That makes sense. I should have known when I seen that water bucket like that. Yeah, that's the bad thing about not marking where I've been since I have the Volt Compass now. Ooh, an X marks the spot room. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm sorry. I just recovered from a death and I don't want it to happen again. But we did get some Gilded Boys, so that means we have a chance at getting a couple more jewels. Oh, we got one and it's 11% vanilla immunity. That's pretty good. Ooh, did we just find another dungeon? It looks like we did. Okay, I think this one only had one spawner, so let's go ahead and start looting up all these chests. Nope, turns out there's another spawner somewhere in here. Yeah, we're gonna actually go ahead and abort that room. Oh, and it turned out to be kind of a good thing because now we have this Gilded POI. Oh, okay, we are about to die. We're gonna go ahead and leave that room. And you know what? We may as well. We came through here once again. It's gotta be a sign. This has gotta be something pretty good down here. I hope anyways. Let's go ahead and box up just in case. Oh my gosh, it's the ornate boys. Nice. So let's hope we get a couple pieces of gear and maybe we'll get our first Omega. Wait, we did get that Omega shield, so technically it wouldn't be our first. Nice, we got a magnet. All right, looks like we got our other innate chest. Let's start heading to another room. Oh, check it out. A couple more innate boys, so we make it some more gear. No gear, but that's okay. We did get a couple coin piles, though. Oh, and some living boys? Do better PRI spawn more frequently at these higher levels? That's for sure what it seems like because we've been getting a ton of Gilded and Ornate POIs. Wow, we got a key piece from that. And two mod boxes from two different chests. Nice. Speaking of better POIs, here's a living one. Yeah, I'm convinced at higher levels you have a higher chance of getting better chest. That or I'm just getting extremely lucky. And we get a free anvil. Did somebody say more Gilded boys? No, I did. Okay, fine. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this an alternate Wild West room? Wow. This is hilarious. Look at that. It matches our mustache on the cave. Oh my gosh, our time's super low though. We gotta get out of here and I gotta eat. This is by far, we gotta rebuild this over there on the Hobbit Hills. Okay, so my portal should be straight this way. Oh, I didn't mean like literally straight this way. Uh-oh, I gotta go around. The good news is since we found so many of those Wild West rooms, I think we completed our bounty that we needed because we needed to kill spiders for it. Yeah, well, actually we did. Nice. And we're gonna get a mystery egg from that. Okay, enough goofing around. We have less than a minute and a half. We gotta find our portal. Okay, here's that monolith. So it should be just this way. Oh. Oh, I can see it. Nice. We're just about there. So you know what that means. Let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. Kind of a bummer that we didn't get to complete this vault. That being said, we got 5,800 experience. How many? 27 gilded and 35 ornate boys. Nice. Let's go ahead and roll this magnet up straight off the bat. And it's going to be a common with some pretty horrible range. We're going to throw you in this chest with the rest of our gear. And then we'll put these jewels over here with the rest of these jewels. And moment of truth. Let's check out the pouches. Six volt diamonds. Oh, I forgot we got that chest plate and whatnot. So let's roll these bad boys up while we go through this. Wow, seven mystery boxes. Maybe we'll get that echo that we need. We didn't get an omega, but we got a common and an uncommon, which are both pretty horrible. So they're going to go into the recycler. 
And before we hop into that power mod, let's go ahead and use all 13 of these mod boxes and see if we can get anything from them. I have no clue what that is right there. What was that? Did y'all hear that beeping noise? Oh, we actually got a solar panel from that. That's insane. Other than that, everything else is pretty meh. So for now, we'll throw that in here along with the rest of the things that we got. And that beeping noise, I don't know if y'all heard it. I may sound completely crazy right now, but I did hear something. Might have been from my computer. So I was just kind of going through power and looking at all the different things we're going to need. And for one, we're going to need these blaze lanterns which if you look in my inventory right here we have four blaze powder and no blaze rods that being said let's head to the nether and that gives me a chance to show you guys this charm that i got from one of the wandering villagers not this guy but actually let's see what he has for sale let's check it out oh the sleep charm i actually want to buy that that will allow me to instantly sleep through the nights which is going to come in super handy he was just here a minute ago okay it's becoming night so he probably took a potion follow the leads right here yeah okay we can buy that and that actually gives us the perfect chance to test it out i don't know if it has to be equipped but we'll equip it just in case and just like that instant that's amazing now let's check out the portal charm yeah instantly again i'm gonna farm some blazes up and i'll meet you guys back in a minute so we collected 55 that should be more than enough to get us what we need okay guys so between that nether clip and this clip right here it's been about six days i have not had too much time to record and i do apologize that this video is going to be like a million days late but where were we okay yeah we just got some blaze rods and i think i needed these so that i could make yeah these blaze lanterns oh and check it out we can actually almost double our blaze powder from if we put them in the crushing wheel so let's actually do that because i really don't feel like going to the nether again all right take the magnet off throw these in and these should start getting compressed down into blaze powder i hope so anyways oh nice there it is pick that up and hopefully we don't catch on fire nice 56 from 16 blaze rods that's insane now back to the base to make those blaze lanterns right after we sleep all right it's daytime and now we can break some lights I honestly forgot why we even needed them. I know it was something to do with power, but I think it was these things. Yeah. So we want to work towards this thermo generator. Just a starter one for now. I think that should be more than enough power to start getting this ME system going. And for that, we're going to need a dielectric casing, some basic capacitors, which is going to require a ton of Laramar. So let's actually go ahead and craft up about 32 of them. And then this dielectric powder is going to require carbon. Do I even have that? Okay, I have a little bit. Thankfully, we can make a bit. How much did that get us? 64. Okay, so that should get us all the die dielectric powder we need. We'll make a stack for now. I'm pretty sure we're going to need more later on down the line. And then we need these thermal plates, which is why we went to the nether to begin with. We'll craft up four of these for now. Actually, we need a bit more. It's four each. So let's craft up about 12 more. No way I'm out of blaze rods. Back to the nether we go. This can be off camera. And we're back. And after a bit of thinking, I only need about five more. Oh, actually three more. Because I'm only needing three of these thermal plates. And now I think all I need is this dielectric casing, which is going to be a little bit difficult to make, I think. Oh, never mind. Not too awful bad. Now we can make the dielectric casing. And then we should be able to make this thermo generator nice so this thing here is pretty nifty there is one thing that i want to make if i have all the black opal for it i think i do but let's just double check there is one more thing that i kind of really want to make which is going to just make this a whole bunch simpler it's going to require eight black opal which shouldn't be too bad but now i only have three left and it's also going to require a ton of chromatic steel which i barely have any so let's craft up a little bit more of that now that that's out the way i'm really hoping this works because if it doesn't this is going to be a huge bummer we're going to make a sink because this is infinite water this this may have just been for nothing, but let's check it out. We can put a thermal generator down. We can put a sink down. This, I need to put water inside of it. And I think if I put it on top of like a heat source, it should start creating power. Let's see. Yeah, so I can use a block of blazing crystal, lava, or a magma block. The more heat it has, the more efficient it generates powder. I'm hoping that these, okay, they do connect. Is this going to actually fill this with water? Maybe I got to right click it with the wrench. Doesn't look like it. Wait a minute, guys. I think I know what we could possibly do. If we make a faucet over here from the supplementary mod it should be able to move water for us at least i hope so all i should have to do now is move this sink right over here put the faucet right on top of it and i think i can right click it does okay so it's only do i gotta click it each time that's kind of a bummer maybe redstone can help me out with this let's see no well i guess it's not too bad i could just always refill it we just gotta start working towards a mod possibly the pretty pipes mod or the pipes mod <laughs> yeah either pipes or modular routers enough of that now let me actually get a magma block and put it underneath here after i move this whole contract wait what okay that doesn't make much sense to me full disclaimer this is going to be pretty ugly to start but this is obviously going to get moved later on down the line okay so there's actually power in here currently i want to try something really quickly though if i put the sink here and then the faucet here it currently has 3982 and then right click it no okay i thought maybe it would refill so currently we're only using three fe per tick i don't know if i start adding items in here if it's going to actually increase it does it no it actually doesn't so that's pretty cool 
I'm sure once we get a whole bunch of stuff added to it, it will later on down the line. But for now, I think this should be plenty of power to start switching this storage system over to this storage system. And we're not done with the power mod by any means. We still got a lot of stuff I want to do with it. But for now, this little basic generator should definitely do the trick. Is it just me or does this kind of look like a little face? Those are the eyes. That's like the mouth or possibly the nose. But now that I got this situated, I'm needing some echoes so that I can make the crafting grid before we actually make the switch. So you know what that means. Oh, wait. So you know what that means, right? Let me take that helmet off. We need to run a vault, and there's only one way we can do that. It starts off with something super simple. Recipe? That's a lot of rotten flesh. I have 50. We'll start gathering everything up, and then we're going to go zombie hunting tonight. Thankfully, I know where to find the zombies at. Is this the same wandering trait? Oh my gosh. I will be right back. Zombie hunting is going to go on a pause for now. Please tell me I have the emeralds for this. I'm one short. Thankfully, I know where I can get them at. We're going to trade our precious melons for one precious emerald. Boy, oh boy. I'm super excited to have this emerald back. Finally. Okay, let's get some good lighting real quick. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah, this is bringing back episode one vibes. This was by far my favorite helmet in the game. I'm sorry, Cake Helmet, but you're going to get replaced with the legendary Sombrero. I really wish that was the transmog. Oh, I completely forgot about this bounty. Wow, we're going to get a couple pieces of gold and a mystery box. Nice. You know what? I think I have a few mystery... Yes, I do. So let's open these bad boys up real quick once the server backup's done. Oh my gosh, we got an echo. And there's the emeralds that we needed. How many echo do we actually have currently? We have three. Treasure room or crafting table. So this requires one echo pop, which is only for echo. Wait a minute, guys. We could potentially go ahead and get this. That wasn't no good. Let's let's try that again. We could potentially go ahead and get this crafting grid. Yeah, this 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 was much better. I mean, I don't even think we're close enough. Okay, yeah, this right here is perfect. But first we gotta get some more zombie flesh. Oh no, it's turning daytime. Here's some flesh. Wait a minute. Why are there two of you over here? One's gotta be an imposter. What is this guy selling? Okay, this is the one that we actually bought from already. Hair of bear. I don't know what that is, guys. I'm gonna guess it's the hair of a bear. Now, although it's daytime, this little nifty gadget right here will let us sleep through the day and actually wake up at night. It's called a hammock. I just gotta find out where I'm gonna place it at. You know, temporarily, this seems like the best spot ever. All you gotta do is put down some ropes and nails, and then you can right-click that, and now I'm sleeping through the day. And yep, it is now dusk. I should just have to wait a bit longer and finish zombie hunting. I guess while we wait on that, we can start turning these into hostile mystery eggs, because I should be able to craft quite a bit. Yep, there's four. Let's roll them up. There's a zombie. And another zombie, which isn't too bad. If I didn't just spend all my black chromatic iron on this bad boy, I could have possibly made another one of these bad boys. Look at all those bones. Globs. After a short little trip to the nether, we only killed, you know, a couple of piglins. We should have enough rotten flesh, we sure do. Now we just got some flowers, which I just collected a whole bunch of, and I'm one short. That's the story of my life. All right, we got the flower. Let's craft up this crystal and run a vault. Oh, I have a mystery egg in here. Let's actually turn that into a hostile one and see if we get lucky, potentially getting wither skeletons. What is that? Oh, a skeleton. We can actually add that to our collection. Yeah, we're going to make this a little skelly party real quick. Now, let me get my inventory sorted out and we're going to start hunting some volts. Before we do that, I actually want to craft up a new helmet, which I'm short on volt plating, which I can get from right over here. We're going to throw this in here, craft up a helmet, and we're going to craft up some leggings. Because those are my two weakest pieces of armor. And let's hope we get an Omega. Highly doubt it. That's horrible. And that's horrible. Okay, I believe we have everything. So let's run this vault. Oh, it's a desert theme. So we got to be careful for creepers. I did pick up a bounty where I have to find 19 ripped pages. And I can get three volt diamonds and three volt gold. So let's actually go for wooden chests this time. And you know, we can't pass up a good coin pile. Oh, there's a creeper right there. Let me back up a little bit because that's a tier two creeper. Can we, oh, we can't one shot them anymore. That's a bummer. We should. Yeah, there's a two shot and a couple of wooden chests. So hopefully we find those ripped pages that we need. I mean, we don't technically need them, but we kind of do for the bounty. Yeah, I've been getting a ton of comments on my armor is pretty low level compared to my actual level. So hopefully we can get some improvements later on. Oh my gosh, another wild west room. Did we get that this episode? It's been so long in between recordings. I actually have no clue. This is by far my favorite variant, the, the Bumbo Cactus. 
I love the teeth. Should we add teeth to Harold? I think we're gonna have to. For now, let's grab some living chests because I believe that's what spawns here because we really do need a red scroll. There we go. No red scroll though. Okay, we got a red scroll. I'm gonna dip. I wanna try to be greedy just a little bit and get a couple more of these chests. If I can find any, that is. Oh no, that's a creeper. We're staying away from that guy. You know what? No, I'm gonna cut my losses. I'm not even gonna bother about that. We got the red scroll and that's all we needed. Now we need a couple of sacks and a couple of cracked scripts. Oh my gosh, no, we got one of these rooms. We may go ahead and take it on because I kind of do want to get a bit more Laramar. Oh, I just found a black opal, but I broke it. Yeah, okay, we did pick it up. Nice. Oh my gosh, look at all these mobs. This is going to be the one time that I lag. Not the one time, but one of many times. Yeah, but let's get out of there for now because I really don't care to die. Ooh, more coin piles and a wooden chest with no... Oh no, that could have been bad. Sorry if that was a jump scare during my screen, but that really did frighten me. Oh, I think this is a dungeon. Yep, it sure looks like it with a ton of mobs. Oh, it's an ornate dungeon too. Let's get rid of the spawner. Oh no, they're still coming. Okay, we took out the mobs. Hopefully there's just one spawner in this room. Of course, they spawn right as I break it. Oh no, it's a wither. Oh, I did not mean to say wither. I meant to say a bow skeleton. I really hope there was only one spawner in this room. I'm going to take a good look just in case, but by the looks of it, we might have gotten the only spawner. Oh, we got an axe. Nice. And we did find one sack so far. Hopefully we can find two more in here. Oh, another axe. Here's another sack. Since there is a drop off point here, let's go ahead and turn in these cracked scripts. And I believe we could also turn in. I guess we can get these two sacks. And where's that red scroll? Right there. We cannot forget about these wooden boards because I do have that bounty where I got to find those red scrolls. A couple more ornate boards. Or are we going to get that last sack that we need? It doesn't look like it. Okay, we have another chance at finding that sack that we need. And once again, no sack. That's quite a bummer. Give me a sack. Give me a sack. Oh, a couple more ornate boards. Or are we going to get the sack in this one? Let's see. Okay, that one was trapped. So that's a no. Oh, we got the sack. And we've got a creeper. He almost sacked us. Eh? Eh? Okay, I, I gotta start realizing that the jokes I do are not as funny as I think they're gonna be. Do I want to go ahead and turn it in or get greedy and try to complete this bounty? I'm needing about 11 more, so I doubt it's going to happen, but it is possible. I mean, we have 10 minutes left, so it's very well possible. Okay, so now we're only 9 short. That's not too bad. Okay, this should be pretty satisfying. Nice. Oh, we're gaining on it. We have 12 already, so we're actually not too far off. We may be able to open two crates after this vault. Oh, a couple of living chests. We might get a mystery egg from here. No mystery egg. Oh, we got some Gyuderus and a mystery box, which is always good to have. And this one didn't have too many good things. Okay, normally I would cut that out because I messed up what I said, but I'm going to leave it in there because I'm super tired. Okay, I think there's a dungeon back here, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, this is definitely a dungeon. What kind is it? I think it's a, it's just a living one, so that's not too bad. Actually, it's just a coin pile dungeon. We're going to skip it. Even though I need the coin piles, I don't want to risk it for the biscuit. Oh my gosh, a puzzle room. And I do have the pick a rank, so this is going to come in super clutch. Because you can snipe these from afar. We're going to probably do this and then start heading back to the portal. This is super satisfying, just going around collecting everything like this. Okay, we can actually complete this. Let's actually do that because I think this spawns Gilded Chest. Oh, we actually got an Omega from that, which is honestly pretty insane. Then we got a couple commons. Let's put these down. Push this button, and then we'll start heading back to the portal. We're not going to vein mine these. We're just going to go through each and every one like this, and hopefully we get a couple of those little gems that we're needing. Okay, we got all the Gilded Chests. Let's go ahead and try to find one of those turn-in stations so we can return this last sack. Okay, there's one right here. We can return this sack and then start heading back to the portal. Did I say the portal? I mean, we can start heading back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. 10,000 experience. Let's check out all the Gilded Chests. 33, 20 ornate boys, 61 wooden. We got a ton of stuff from that boy. Let's claim that up and put the scavenger crate right here. And before we open that up, let's check out the pouches. We got 11 volt diamonds along with some epic and an omega green puzzle piece. And we did get a couple jewels, a chipped one, a wooden affinity, shoveling, and then this point one reach. What's that going to do? Let's throw these into the jewel chest. Pop open this mod box. What is this stuff? Oh, network cables. That's great now that we're going to be switching over from this. And then in our main pouch, 10 mystery boxes. Oh my gosh. Can we get a bit more echo from here? Laramore and Emeralds. It's not too bad. We did get a Vault Rune, which is a dick site, but that's not the good one. That's actually like the horrible one. Then we can't forget about these two axes. Before we roll these up, let's go ahead and open up this crate right after I remove my pouches. Okay, in moment of truth, what are we going to get? Oh, I see a chip jewel. That's probably one of the best things that we've gotten. Oh, and a fundamental focus. Let's put that there, and that's an ornate affinity. Two more mystery boxes with more emeralds. No gear that time, but we did get a relic. 
in and let's roll these gears up i would love to get something with a cool model which we just barely passed it and these two are that's a pretty decent axe right there actually it's really not and then another one with pretty okay attack damage but i'm not an axe guy so we're gonna go ahead and recycle these Oh, a fundamental focus. All in all, that was a pretty good volt run. We even got a ton of scavenger pieces that we can start recycling and some more soul shards. Okay, so I want you guys to leave a comment down below. Should we give that echo towards this mod and get the crafting grid or put it towards a treasure key? So I'm fine with either one, but whatever you guys want to see is what we're obviously going to do. This really doesn't use water as fast as I thought it was going to, so this isn't too bad. Kind of wish I didn't waste that opal on this. But you win some, you lose some. Well, guys, it's time for my favorite part of the episode. It's been forever since we've done this, so this is a great change of pace. We're going to add some comments to the comment wall. So, up first, we have Happy Mellow. Hey, Sagey, I'm really enjoying your videos. Thanks for making them. What sort of computer do you have right now? So, I currently have a Dell G7 laptop. It has an i5. Actually, this is going to be easier for me. Let me just show you guys the specs right over here. It's an i7, not an i5, an i7-8750H. It's got a 1060 GPU. It's okay, and it's also got 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's not the best, but it gets the job done, I guess. So we're going to put you right there. And then up next we have, hi, hope you have a nice day. Thank you for the video, and please never apologize for being busy. We are already lucky enough to have you make content we enjoy. Thank you so much for that. I really, really do appreciate that. Again, I'm super sorry the uploads have been literally non-existent for the past two weeks. I have just been super, super busy with work. Like, literally, my schedule has been crazy. But I'm glad I was able to get this out for you guys. Hopefully, it's out by this week. It's currently Sunday as of recording this. Let me, let me be more specific. It's currently March now that I'm recording it. I started recording this episode, like, the last week of February. Yeah, so these clips are all over the place. So I'm going to try my best to make it seem seamless. And hopefully, it turns out as good as I'm hoping it is. So if you guys aren't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I want to be at 1800 by the end of March. And I'm pretty positive we can do that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I do apologize once again for the insane break that we took between the last episode and this one. It's been a pretty crazy past few weeks for me, working a ton lately because they're super behind on this job. So if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and if I haven't added you to the amazing comment wall, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. God bless you guys. Bye bye. I'm going to try my best to get uploads out a little bit more frequently in these upcoming weeks.